Alexa, what is this? This we call the spider. This is an instrument that we use to monitor areas, especially volcanoes, that are unsafe for people to go. And it's monitoring three major things. One is seismicity. Go ahead, take a, take a jump and see if we can see that on the screen. We also have a system on the spider to measure infrasound, which is a type of sub-audible sound because volcanoes make sound waves. The infrasound frequency of that energy can propagate really far, so it's much more easily detectable than the type of sound that we make with our own mouths. So if I just yell, it's not gonna pick it up because it's, it, this is recording sound that's too low for the human ear to hear. That's right. So as you talk, the infrasound detection isn't really gonna pick up our voices, but it will pick up a lower frequency pressure wave, sound wave, which is what is created by whooshing at, at volcanic eruptions. Now, there's a third thing that we have to look for. And the third thing we have to look for is volcanic lightning. One of the ways that we can detect that is by making an electrical spark that can be detected by a little radio antenna. And so if we create a little spark as a fake volcanic lightning, we can see that it's, it's detected. Wow. Having three different types of data for volcanic activity really helps us figure out where the ground shaking is coming from, whether it's rock fall, whether it's an explosion, and whether there's ash in the atmosphere that's creating lightning. And that's important because it can affect jet aircraft. Now, I see that one of these things is hooked up and one of them looks like a fishbowl. This fishbowl is what's inside of the seismometer sensor here. So this whole system, the spider gets dropped by a helicopter inside the volcanic crater or any other place that's unsafe for people to spend a lot of time in. And it's not a permanent station, it's a short-term fix to fill in gaps in data that don't exist from the other stations. But what's inside of here looks essentially like a fishbowl because the seismometer needs to be oriented vertically. And if it's just dropped by a helicopter, it could land in any position. So by having it suspended in silica gel, it can move to a vertical position no matter how it's landed inside the volcanic crater. So all of this is to collect data on an active volcano. That's right. There are over 1,500 volcanoes in the world, and the USGS monitors 159 active volcanic sites. What site would you like to monitor? What tropical destination or frigid location would you like to visit to monitor those volcanoes? Let us know down in the comments section. Also be sure to like 730 on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum YouTube page. And like this video!